Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing a modeling video and we're also going to build a mesh network, or at least a basic one, okay? So we're going to do the modeling bit. We're going to model an X-Wing and then we're going to create a mesh network to uh, create a cool looking squadron, all right? So uh, let's check that out. Before we dive in, I just want to let you know once again that my Hangout group has moved from Facebook to Google+. If you want to hang out with fellow 3D artists, then check out the link below, okay? Well, that said, let's uh, jump into our video. Here we go. Right, guys. Well, Ramaya 2018, let's get started. Uh, we're going to start off by modeling an X-Wing. So for that, we're going to go to uh, Create Polygon Primitives, and we're going to create a cube. I'm going to hit R to scale that out. Uh, something like this and I'm going to right click on a vertex, drag select these, scale that down and drag select these and scale that up. Just so we have a basic shape, right? Then I'm going to open up my modeling toolkit. I'm going to take the multi-cut tool, jump to this view right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift and let's put in one here. We'll do one here. We'll do one here. And then let's put in one here for the cockpit and one there. All right, cool. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Q on our keyboard. We're gonna right click at a face, select this guy, hit Control E to extrude. We're gonna go to offset 0 0.1. And then we're gonna select that face again, hit G to repeat and W to raise up like this. We're gonna jump back here. I'm gonna right click at a vertex, drag, click this guy, hit F to zoom in. I'm going to push that one down and in slightly and then I'll take this guy and bring that in as well and maybe raise that a little bit. Okay. Looking good so far. Let's go into the back here. We're going to right click at a face, select this guy, hit control E once again to extrude, shroom put one on the offset, select that face, control E to extrude, W to pull up. And G to repeat last command, R to scale sideways and W to raise that slightly. And then G to repeat last command and W to pull up again and W to push it back a little bit. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to flare that. So we get something like that, right? Okay, so what's next? The back, Control E to extrude, R to scale in, G to repeat last command, W to push backwards, G to repeat again, R to scale down, G to repeat again, and W to push in, like that, all right? Let's do something similar at the front here. Control E, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that in, G to repeat, W to push in. That looks all right. Now, just to uh, adjust the body a little bit here, uh, let's see, we'll go in, we'll right click at our vertex, take these two and hit R and kind of bring that in like that. And then what we'll do here is we'll go to enter edge loop, option box, multiple, set that to four and put four in right there. Okay. Now this is a bit tricky. We're going to select the middle edges, right click edge. We're going to go with this guy, Oop. go back, hit Q first. So this guy all the way to the end and this one as well. And you don't want to go all the way around, just the, those, okay? And then we're going to go in and we're going to do the same here. Hold down shift and uh, that one as well. Yep, that's not the one. That's the one. All right. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out. And let's see if that worked out okay. Looks like it did. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to do next is we're going to create our wings. So we're going to right click at a face, select one and two, and one and two. Okay, hit Control E to extrude, hit R to scale out. Like this, we're going to jump to our top view. And we're going to right click, go to vertex, hit four for wireframe mode, drag select these and these, hit W, push that way, way back like this. 
let's see what we got and how that looks okay and then we're gonna jump into this view right here and let's see we'll take these and these and let's hit R and kind of scale that down a bit and maybe out and I'm just experimenting basically so they're sticking out in the back too much so we're gonna go to vertex hit W I think that will look a bit better yeah and then the only thing we need to do next is take these and these bring them up hit R scale them in a little bit take these and these you can basically do anything you want but I'm just looking for something that I find pleasable to look at so I bring that up R to scale in and we're not going to mess around with that too long so almost there guys I promise yep we'll do that true x-wing okay so that's our x-wing fine we're going to right click at our object mode we're going to go to uh, edit delete by type history we're going to go to modify freeze transformation and we're going to go to modify and center pivot all right we're going to jump to our top view i'm going to hit um, w to move it hold down x to snap it uh, looks that it snapped already that's cool and we're going to hit r and we're going to scale it down a bit all right so now for the cool part what we're going to do next is we're going to shut down this modeling toolkit here we're going to go up to our, our mash tab uh, which is right there and we're going to hit mash network as we do that we'll get a lineup of x-wings this is not what we want so we're going to hit Control a to open up the attribute editor we're going to go to the mash one distribute tab here and we're going to change the way it's set up right now it's set to a linear distribution type we're going to change that to grid which will give us something like this and we want to change the distance and the number so let's uh, pull on this distance right here and we'll pull on this distance right here we don't want to pull on the Y just yet because we want them to be on one plane and then we can increase the number by doing something like this that would be too many this is fine we'll do this as well that could work yeah there you go so there you have it we have these going on uh, but this doesn't look very cool so we have to do something with this right so we're gonna go to the mash tab and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, add an influence node okay we're gonna click on this guy add influence node and once you do that you see that something weird is going on here and that's because of these sliders now we have uh, an influence power that we can play with and you can see as I push that way down you have uh, x-wings uh, at the outer perimeter that are smaller and the ones in the middle are bigger you can play with that you have the influence radius so how, how big of an area do you want to have impacted we'll do something like this and then you have the strength that you can play with you got the uh, the random strength which is uh, pretty important here so we'll do something like this and then the step strength we're not going to touch that because that basically messes up everything so we'll leave that alone right so this is a little bit better but not near uh, what i want okay so now for the cool part we're going to go to our uh, mash again and we're going to click on a random to add a random node and we're going to click on add random node this will be a huge difference I open up my attribute editor again come on where do you go where do you go there he is okay uh let's see sorry about that guys there you go all right so uh what we're going to do next here is we're going to play with those settings all right so we're going to go to this random here and i'm going to close my outliner right there and what we're going to do is we're going to play with these settings 
Now, a couple of things, position in X. You can see that as we play with those, they will move, right? You can do the same thing in Y, which now is kind of cool because when you do that, you'll see that they will have a different position vertically, okay? We can do the Z position as well. Let's do that. All right, and so on. Now you can play with the strength of this as well. If you want to pull it down, you'll see that it will level out. I like to keep that nice and strong. And then you have the strength of the randomizer that you can play with as well, okay? So if you then zoom in and you pop in a nice background, you will have a very cool squadron of X-Wings. So that's all there is to it, guys. Now, keep in mind, as always, my videos are about teaching you guys techniques, not about how to model an X-Wing. And uh, I need you guys to uh, understand how powerful this is. Let's say you want to have a swarm of bees, okay? You want them maybe in different sizes, you want them at different elevations, but also facing in different directions, okay? For example, here you have this uh, rotation of value that you can play with in all areas. Now you wouldn't want to do this with your X-Wing, but if you were creating something like a swarm of bees, you would. Let's say you are creating a crowd of people. They're not all the same height, not all walking in the same direction. Uh, only with, let's say, maybe two or three or four character uh, meshes, you could create an entire crowd, right? So that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, keep in mind that my uh, Hangout group has moved to Google+, Plus, so I'll put a link below. Hopefully you'll join us. A uh, bunch of artists there to learn from and share with. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you didn't already, please subscribe, okay? That's all there's to it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.